Okay. Uh, we live? Okay. Uh, we live? Seems like we are. Alright, let's continue with our main bus design. Um, so we've basically got Rocket Science Pack 1 already complete. Might move these things around a little bit, but this is basically going to be the layout. Uh, next we need... Well, hold on. I think this recycling machine was here for a reason. Junk data card, we're dealing with that over here, actually. Okay. Yeah, no, we've already done that. Okay, cool. Uh, let's get started on... Uh, I suppose it's going to be Astronomic Science Pack, number one. Pretty sure that goes in here. And this is the first one of these that's going to beryllium plate. Oh, is there another recipe for this? Yeah, there is. I was going to say, I didn't remember... Um, having found beryllium plate in the playthrough so far. A robust. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, so now we need significant data. I'm pretty sure that's a computer thing. Uh, yeah, here we go. Astronomic simulation. And that requires blank data card. Um, were we putting blank data cards on the bus, or were we just, f in this case, we're just feeding to these directly? Uh, okay, I might have to restructure this significantly. Um, I think I was thinking of data cards as being sort of self-reinforcing within the build itself for the other sciences. Uh, I think I misremembered. Uh, blank data card. Okay, yeah, there's a few things that make blank data cards, but I don't know if it's going to be enough or if we're going to have to produce them directly. Uh, so we got polished data and these two things to make that. It does seem like it's going to make a lot of sense to bust the blank data cards. Um, we're already easily able to overproduce here what we would need for uh, regular science. Well, not regular science, uh, rocket science pack. Uh, let's see. Astronomic Insight. Oh, that creates 32 blank data cards. Wait, no, that... Yeah. That seems like a lot. Yeah, we don't actually need them yet. This is like a byproduct. Hmm. Okay. What was the other thing we needed? All of this stuff? These are... the later versions of this recipe that we don't have yet. Uh, I'm not sure what order these go in, actually. Uh, let's see. Extended Astronomic Catalog, that's not what I'm looking for. Oh, there's actually only two of these things. So, Astronomic Catalog and Insight. This requires Insight. 
And I think this requires catalog. And then this requires four different things. It's going to look a bit like the build that we made for this already, except that we're going to actually give it decent ratios. Uh, so let's see. We need some astrometric facilities. To make these four things. Um, let's just lay it out here for like a visual aid to start with. That is visible observation data, infrared, and UV. Oh. Infrared and UV. And then, so these require the blank data cards, which that was pretty simple when we were using a sushi belt, but we're either going to need to like bust the data cards or there's going to have to be some sort of self perpetuating loop here. Um, we can't productivity these, right? Okay, that makes the math a bit simpler. Astronomic inside blank data card. Okay, astronomic catalog is at least straightforward. Needs to go here as well. And it also needs to go here, but not here. I wonder if I could shape this a bit more cleverly. Hey, Royal PS2K. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, let's see. If this goes here and this goes here and this goes here, maybe. Is that right? Where are the blank data cards going to go? We'll figure that out later. Blank data card. So that is catalog. Okay. I think that's it. There's no way we can put these closer together. That actually just barely works. Um, but I'm guessing the ratio is going to be all screwed up. We're actually making more significant data than we need. Um, more astronomic catalog than we need. Not enough astronomic. Not quite. Oh, no, wait. Yeah, no, we need 10 times as much astronomic insight. Hmm. Hey, the new guy. Good to see you again. A welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, okay. I guess it would be simpler if all of these fluids were one or the other over here. And that one seems pretty obvious. Not exactly in love with the shape of this, but especially considering that we're going to need nine or ten times as many astronomic insights. Uh, we could do 
1.8 or 2. So yeah, we need 10 of these. Um, but that's probably going to mean... This is already 1 to 1. And then we need a few astronomic catalogs to go over here. Seven machines to support that. Hmm. And it actually gets worse if we add speed modules to this thing. Yeah, to all of these machines. Alright, well, first of all... So, if this is going to be a one-to-one -one ratio... And we're going to need... Ten of those... And it might look something like that. Wait, how fast does this machine go? Uh, 0.33 per second. That's already significantly slower than what our uh, science build would be. Wait, I thought... I thought we ratioed this for like 1 or 2 per second or something. Uh, this makes two blank data cards per second. This uses 1.4. And this consumes 1.32 of those per second. Okay. Um, so this is actually already going to be... 13.2 rocket science packs per second. If we're going to have astronomic data keep up with that, it seems like the build is going to be huge. Um, so that is... Those are the astronomic catalogs. They're all being consumed by this. Astronomic insight. Oh, that's actually way more than we need. Okay, I think I misread a decimal point over here. Uh, we would be... No? Is there a speed module or something? Oh, it's because this thing as well. Of course. So that needs uh, six of these to support it. And then... We also need the astronomic insights to somehow get over here. So I don't think we're going to be able to find like a nice layout where all of these just have inserters facing each other. Um, alright, well, I think the first thing to do in that case is just lay out a decent ratio and go from there. One-to-one -one for astronomic catalogs for these. Uh, we also need... Was it just one of these machines will support at least one of these? No, not even close. And with the number of machines we're making, I'm thinking we should probably use some speed modules. Uh, so that is getting there. Takes f exactly five of them to keep up. Or if I give them some speed modules... Uh, 0.6666 times uh, three of these would keep up with that. All right, let's use some speed modules. Why not? This build. And that's just to keep up with no speed modules in this thing. Um, we will speed module these. And how many of them am I going to need? 
0.667. Oh, just, just a couple. Yeah, just a couple if we do it like that. Even though it's only plus 80%, I feel like I'm missing something here. Probably just that we need to feed these things. Okay, so that, if it was, if astronomic insight was only needed for this thing, that would be a surplus. We need another 6.48 per second. Let's see. Oh, that's... Why is that not enough? Oh, of course. Wait, is this, is this a one-to-one -one ratio still? It is. And this is an extra... It's 0.667 for both of them. A horizon effect. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, let's see. Let's just add some more of these. Compare the ratios. Still not enough catalog. And... Nowhere near enough insight. Alright. I guess we're adding some more. Really? And this is going to be spitting out 14.4 data cards per second that are going to be a surplus. Not to mention the junk data cards. Hmm. Okay, this is actually enough insight. More than enough insight. Uh... How much insight do we need? 7.147 per second. Uh, how many of these does that take? 7.2 is 20. That's actually quite a lot. Alright, so that's a good ratio for insight, but we need significantly more catalog. You know, I thought it would be an entirely sensible small little build if we just build for one of these machines, but this is looking pretty crazy. Um, okay. Maybe we should just not aim to keep one of these machines going at full speed. But it's only 0.33, it's one every three seconds. So it's really not that much. A I am suck. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. The nice thing about the catalogs is it just spits out catalogs. You don't have to worry about any other outputs. Um, catalogs only also have to go to here, so I think probably going to do something a little bit like this. I can't believe this is how many machines we've got with the speed modules in. And we can move these up a little bit actually. Snap to grid relative. Oh, whoops. Nice, except that that's twice as many inserters as we need. Uh, 
Uh, this one. There we go. Um, I guess we'll do... How quickly does this consume fluid? Only 1.8 per second each, which adds up to 36, so I don't think we need to connect them together vertically all the time. Um, just do it like that. Actually, let's get rid of this thing. Okay. So now we've got all but direct insertion into these, except the excess goes over to this machine. Um, I guess we could probably line that up like so. If it's in the middle, the pipes aren't going to line up. And then... Probably just do it like that. Move this over a little bit, I think. All right. So Hold on. Insights are... Wait, how is that not enough catalogs all of a sudden? I thought I just calculated that. 3.6 versus 4.2. These are 1 to 1. No, we definitely need more catalogs. What am I doing? Hmm. I wonder if... Uh, how many more of these do I actually need? The total required is... 4.267 per second. Which requires... Uh, 24 machines. I think rather than doing a length of 24, if I do it like this, the belt here is going to have to go all the way over to these ones. Maybe... Maybe we could move these over. How many did I just delete? Move these over like so. Except that we'll need a belt input for these ones. Uh, for the catalogs. So what I have in mind would look a little something like this. And so on. Width is 10. Room for beacon? 
Um, I can't build beacons yet, but... I suppose we could have a look at... You can't put basic beacons in space. Those are what I've got unlocked in the game. Uh, how far away is beacon? Wide area beacon requires energy science pack 2. I think by the time we get that, we're going to be doing a rail base. So this is not going to be relevant anymore. But... Oh wait, wide area beacon 1 and 2. Let's see. Yeah, no, that is... So that does require energy science pack 2. And how big is it? Probably need a couple of them. They're quite big as well. But no, I think by the time we are building this with a beacon, we're going to have moved on to a rail base. Uh, the idea of this main bus base is just to get us all of the tier 1 science packs. Um, so... That is going here. I think I do like this layout a bit better. Except we'll need to... It's hard to see where the ends of these buildings actually are. Whoops. We also need to get the blank data cards out of these ones. Somehow. Not to mention get the actual insight out of it. Hmm. We could... Well, that's going to have to move. Um, but we could output them without a filter and then filter it off the belt, maybe. Or we could have the outputs in the middle here, which is going to make the pipes a bit of a nuisance, but I guess that's not too bad. Insights need to go here anyway, so I'm thinking that is probably the way to go. Uh... How is it going to look? So there's not going to be room except for on the outside tiles uh, for these supercomputers. Unless we spread them out, which I guess... Let's just get started with this first. Insight and blank. Insight, blank, and if we copy that, it's probably, probably not going to be doable to put them on specific belts like that. Actually, I don't know how I'm going to do that anyway. On the other hand... Um, if we just output them to belts anyway, and then we put insights on one side, blank data card would be on the northern side. The question, if we do it that way, is how we avoid clogging up the machine. Do these need... No, these make 32 blank data card. So this whole thing doesn't consume blank data cards at all. What about earlier in uh, the construction... Okay, yes. Alright. 
We need to figure out the ratio for these. But first I need to f get the ratio down for these. Um, we will need to actually get this stuff into uh, manufacturing. Let's just not worry too much about the pipes just yet. Or I guess we could use a belt. But let's let's suppose we go with this plan. Um, that's actually going to go there. Which means that goes there. Move this up here. And copy it down this way. Let's make sure those have all got inserters. Okay. So that is enough astronomic insight. It'll look a little bit like this. And... You know, if I put the blank data cards on the south side, we could just filter and set these out. If I do direct insert of the significant data, then we'll actually have uh, sort of an automatic filter for the outputs. So these would have to be within three tiles, uh, a little bit closer. We could always move this a little bit, like move it down a couple. Actually, that might be a good idea. Alright, that might make a bit of sense. So we've got our inputs here, one of the outputs here, and... If we swap these for long arms, one, two, three, uh, swap these around, that means the blank data cards are going to be on the southern belt, and we can just stack filter those out like so. I kind of want some power just to stop all of this flashing. There we go. Right, so how many blank data cards is this going to be producing, theoretically? 12.96 per second. Is it per second? Yeah. And this would be... One set of these would be consuming... Well, let's probably give them speed modules since we're trying to reduce the count of buildings. It's only these three that use blank data cards and this one consumes from these three. And it looks like we need a ratio of two to one for all of those. Yep. So that gives us astro multispectral astromectic trick analysis. Do we need these things anywhere else? Yeah, we do. 
EV observation astrometric. So we need this stuff to go here and to here. Oh boy. I don't know how we're supposed to shape this uh, with these being close together. Especially the way this is laid out. Hmm. I guess we could split these up a bit. All right, where does it fit? One, two, three. Uh, so it only outputs astronomic catalog. Gonna get rid of all of those inserters. We'll put the output in the middle. And that gives us more space for the inputs. So we need two belts because there's four inputs for this. I hope we're not going to run into issues where belt limitations are a problem. Actually, let's copy it like that. Okay. That should be all right. If we double this, uh, I don't think we're going to have any trouble with how much stuff this needs. Well, definitely not belt-wise anyway. Yeah, that's going to be fine. So there, let's double check. There's 24 of these machines. And we're looking at less than five per second for each resource. Okay. And we don't need these for anywhere else in the build. Don't think. So the next thing we need is to produce 4.32, net 4.32 of each of these per second. Currently, this thing would give us zero for those. 2.6 astron astronomic data. Okay, so there's our four point something per second for that. And then we just need to produce 4.32 for each of these three separate to that, which is going to be 10 of these, it looks like. Yep. Why is visible observation data ever so slightly faster? Okay, so all of this would consume fewer blank data cards we're going to be net positive on blank data cards for the whole system. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure we're going to end up having a bus for blank data cards. Um, partly because we need to limit the production of them to make sure we don't run out of room. Also... If all of the sciences are getting made, where are the blank data cards going to go? It's not like there's a recipe to do this without the extra blank data cards coming out, right? 
the other sciences have similar issues, but we haven't been accumulating data cards on our main game, so maybe it sorts itself out in a way that I haven't noticed. I hope. I might end up uh, making a cargo rocket silo just to hold the cards that we might accumulate in the meantime. You'll need them later, yeah. Okay. So we needed this times 10, right? Even with the speed modules. Yeah. Let's check all the ratios so far. Oh, we are consuming more blank data cards. That's good. Sort of. It means we don't have to worry about, like, using them up somewhere else. Uh, so we're net negative on blank data cards. Just barely net positive on all of this stuff, which is good. Now we just need the prerequisites for this stuff. And figure out how it's going to fit together. Observation frame. We need three different types of observation frame. We need telescopes, right? I don't think I need to look that up. Oh, inventory is full. Why do I have all this rocket fuel? Uh, telescope. So that just requires blank observation frame and turn it into whatever you like, infrared, visible, or UV. I guess uh, crafting combinator could come into play here, but it's going to be a set ratio for this all the time, so I don't really see the point of that. Okay, um, if all of these are together, point 0.4 versus 4.8, we need like 12? Oh, I haven't given them speed modules. Uh, that is still 5 to 1. Or worse. The amount of fluids you need to run all this is ridiculous. Hmm. Yeah, this, uh, I think this fluid build here is actually gonna have to be even more, like, pushed a bit further away from this base to make sure there's room for everything than I might have expected. Uh, is it this one? All right, let's just check this ratio here. Yeah, we actually need more than five of these to support this. That is correct. Well, since we're dealing with these fluids, uh, it really seems like this is the way to go here. There's um, one physical in, one physical out. I think we probably do it like this. If we don't use the long arms, then we're going to have to have the pipe sticking out. So it's not going to be much better in terms of its 
space. Unless we use undergrounds. Space belt. And then... Even if we do that, it would have to... Would not look very good. Yeah, I don't love that. It would have to be on the same on the other side as well. And all it does is save one tile. Oh no, two tiles. Sticking out this way. Okay. Two tiles I may just be sold. Uh, so that would look like that, except... It's okay to have all of these telescopes right next to each other, right? Not like they would crash into each other. So... It's six to one. I think for these other two, it's not as bad. Which one's this? Visible. Infrared. So is this one five to one? It is. I don't like that slight difference. And this one... Visible observation... For, oh, right. Visible observation frame... Isn't this visible? Yeah, it is. EV. And four is definitely not enough, right? No. Okay. I don't like that those ratios are different. But we basically need to do this. Uh, we need this times ten plus four more. And that's with the speed modules. This is all this is all to support one of these machines that will go at one astronomic science pack every three seconds. Really? That does not feel right. Okay, how fast does this come out? Uh six point two per second. Twenty two point five is half a belt. Uh, so if we do this only four times, it stops working right, but just half a belt. If we flip it... Oh, that's facing the wrong way. Okay. Yeah, we're going to need multiple rows like this. That doesn't look quite right. Visible observation frame. Oh, I doubled this twice, I think. Hmm. 
Okay, let's just forget about doing it like that. How many of... Which one is it? A visible observation frame. How many do we need? A visible is 75.31. Tuck that away over there. 75.31, that is more than a full belt of output. So we're definitely going to need to copy this over like so. Um, don't know why these undergrounds would have to face different directions actually. Let's just get rid of those for the moment. Actually, I, I want to make absolutely sure there's no confusion here. Where did they go? Okay. So that is going to go here. And we're up to 49. Uh, 49 on two belts. So we can definitely copy this a bit further back. Is that right? This should be more than 90 per second, I think. And then we just start trimming it. Well, I, I should just rate calculate until we find it. Oh, 79. We need 75.31. Okay. So, was it from here? That's 79. 74.8. That is disappointing. Okay, so I think we'll stop here. Wait, what? Okay, there we go. 79.040 uh, for both input and output. And both input and output are, sh are using... Oh, there's five belts. Okay, output is using two belts, which is fine, and input has more than that, so it shouldn't be a problem. And we'll get the inputs to stop here. Wait, that is the last place we need the blank observation frames, right? Well, since this needs uh, almost two belts. I think we'll have the input of the frames going into this and like splitting and going into something similar over here as opposed to uh, like continuing on to another build. So that's gonna look a little something like that. Let's uh, maybe bring these together tentatively. Okay. And what do we actually need for blank observation frames? I think it was made in one of these. We could probably use the small buildings, but... Um, I'm pretty sure... Nope. Okay, we need... What? What? Why? Oh, one of them's beryllium plate. Okay. Alright, so obviously we're going to be doing this one. Uh... Coal is going to need to be on the main bus somewhere. Let's just... Uh, 
let's just put it here for now. And copy all this. All right. Steel is on the bus, glass is on the bus, and light oil is a fluid. Pretty sure steel is up, uh, steel and glass are up here somewhere. Yep, there we go. Okay, so main bus is going to supply these things. Uh, light oil is going to be easy enough. Uh, it's one-to-one -one for blank observation frames and all of these other ones, right? So we can calculate based on based on this. Although I think some decimals might be missing. But that's probably fine. Uh, 71... Let's start from the bottom. 75.31 plus 71 plus... I must have accidentally included some of these in the calculation. Okay. So we're looking at 214 or more uh, link observation frames that we need every second. One of these does 10 per second. That's without speed modules. With speed modules, 34 per second. Okay. Um, I kind of wish I hadn't started with Astronomic Science Pack, although I don't suppose any of the other ones would have been any easier. Maybe. Uh, can we move this somewhere else, please? Uh, 136. 200 and... So we need seven of these? 238. We would need seven of these machines to keep up. I can't believe this is what it takes to support literally just one of these machines with no speed module. Hey, Imo. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And, uh, Mind Mousecraft as well. Welcome, welcome. Hope to see you again. Uh, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh... Yeah, so... Wait, how much is this gonna consume? More than a belt of each. Wow. Oh, that's assuming... Uh, let's suppose that we are going for the 214 or so per second. Okay, one belt is going to be enough. That's something, at least. Uh, so, that is three belts of input for this. Um, what's the best way to do this? I, if it's a three by three machine, 
I know a good way to get two full belts of input. Seifercat, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. How was your stream today? Seifraid, yes indeed. Veldak, welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Uh, so how am I going to get... Wait, each machine individually just needs... 6.8 per second is still too much for a long arm inserter. So if we have three belts coming in... Um, obviously one of them could be underground... And, and there's this one. And like so, I guess. Even if we need more than one stack in soda for each resource, we can manage that. Uh, so I think these are all going to be in a line, actually. And we need seven of them. Uh, we could put them closer together if all the piping is going to be on that side. Yeah, I think that looks decent. Okay. Okay. I really haven't left myself enough room to play here. Uh, why don't we move all of this stuff over for now? And... I don't think there's actually as much scaffolding over here as I would like. Yeah. Let's just drop it here for the moment, I guess. I don't necessarily want to design this part in too much detail just yet, but because I'm almost, I'm, I'm positive I'm going to end up moving at least some of this because we need a bus for, um, uh, we need a bus for blank data cards. At least there's no extra outputs here. Uh, let's do a... I guess we can't get away with a 7. Let's do a 5. And one more. Undergrounds like so. I guess a long arm would have worked as well. This is fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Actually, how much does this output? 34 per second. Uh, long arm is obviously not going to be good enough for that. Not, neither is one or two stack inserters. Um, I'm thinking we're probably going to need, like, three. Make it four, just to be sure, and to have symmetry. Let's remove that part, and that part. Uh, undergrounds go here, and we're left with just a freebie. Does that actually reach with the underground pipes? It does. Fantastic. Okay. 
and then we actually have to worry about sides of belts as well. Um, because 34 per second is more than half of a belt. Sixty-eight per second. But what if, what if we do it like this? Oop, that's weird. And that gives us two thirty-eight over forty-five. 5.29 belts and stuff. But we'll have seven belts coming out of here if necessary. Okay. Um, and this is going to be glass, steel, coal. And okay. So we've got our blank observation frames. Uh, then we're going to need an obscene amount of visible observation frame. Probably somewhere like this. Uh, considering that requires less than two belts. Well, this is not a full belt, so... Uh, two of these machines are not going to be enough, right? 68. And we need, I think it's 75. We need to, um, you know what, instead of messing around, uh, I think, I think we'll actually merge all of this and then split it. It's a shame it goes beyond 180 items per second because a four lane balancer is so much neater. I do have some balances I could use for... Is there a throughput unlimited one for this? It's going to be a pain to make one of these because... Uh, there's no... You can't use an upgrade planner to change the belts between... The ones that only work on the ground and the space belts. Well, why don't we figure out how many belts we're going to need. And we'll see where we go from there. So this is going to be enough of those to support all of this. I believe. Oh, should have removed that one. Uh, where is it? 79, 75. Visible will be fine. And... I need 67 for UV. Is there a reason I had these in this order? I think I'd like to go with that order right there. We'll do infrared next. How many infrared do we need? 
71.3, it's almost identical, 71.37 per second. So I think we just copy paste this and change the recipe. Also, those could connect up, I suppose. Oh, and the input will be the same as well. So that can actually go there. I just finally realized there's literally nowhere for power if I build this. It would be really nice if I had some pylons uh, before having to actually build this in the game. Oh, that's the wrong type. Pylon substation... Even with pylons, we'd have to separate them a little bit. Was just about to say that, yeah. Uh, okay, so how am I going to refactor this so that we can fit power poles or substations? Uh, that really is a shame. I don't think we can do it. Any one of these pipes can't be removed. If I do a version of this where at least the either the input or the output uses long arm inserters, the individual machines are only one per second, so long arms are fine. You can just move an underground one space and replace it with a medium. Oh, right. That might work. Oh, yeah. I think that's it. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Uh, let's do it like this. I kind of want to bias it towards the middle or the outside or something. See if we can make it symmetrical. Feels very weird using medium poles up in space. Uh, I needed to double check. Yeah, the pipes aren't going to be a problem for fluid throughput. Where's the middle? This is 19. That doesn't have a middle. Let's just continue with this pattern. Okay. Copy that. And then... Yes. I either need to do the same thing every single row, or we're going to have to have them connect on the outside somewhere. I think I would rather be more consistent. Oops. Alright, that should be okay. Let's just do a copy-paste, actually. Maybe like this? Is it that easy? I think it is. Uh, I don't want to delete the wrong thing here, so I'll just manually remove these. And then copy-paste on top of that. Okay. 
Okay. Actually worked, I was just hoping for the best. Nah, it was calculated. If only you could daisy chain buildings. Daisy chain buildings? Alright. It's kind of hard to look at, but it's pretty neat and very compact. And can we please stop with the flashing? There we go. Right, so we're gonna copy this down here. And then change the recipe. This one is visible. I think we're after infrared next. Oh, I probably rotated the... I probably just rotated some of these the wrong way. Yeah. Oh, that's unfortunate. But I can fix the mistake just as easily as I did it. Which one is which? So... I think the output fluid on the out on the physical output side makes a lot of sense. That seems fine. Now how much infrared are we looking at here? Copper wire from machine to machine, so no poles needed. Yeah, that'd be kinda nice. Um, infrared, visible is done, infrared is done, I don't think, I think we're going to drop more than eight infrared if we remove a row from here, right? 74.8. Why does the ratio have to be slightly different? Uh, that is actually enough infrared still. And no doubt if we remove another one... Oh, that's... No, that's not right. Uh, let's do it like... This. Infrared... Yeah, that's slightly too much. Okay. I think instead of removing those ones, we'll remove the ones at the end. And that should be fine. Cool. And that just leaves one to go. Next input is down here. Uh, not gonna lie, it is a little bit hard to see where things go here. Infrared, visible, UV. I'm pretty sure we're on UV now. So this one is visible, infrared, and UV. If I do the shift click, uh, shift right click, shift left click, it doesn't rotate the pipes like it did earlier. Let's make sure this is all one product. Good. And that is 79. It was almost the exact same ratio, right? So this is probably going to be like so. What SPM are you building for? 
Uh, this is all literally just to support one space manufactory without speed modules, if you can believe that. Uh, okay, so UV... We're overproducing by, like, seven? Really? So the target is 67.41. How much do we get out of this? 70. Okay. I think that's going to be too much. Yep. Just a little bit. Alright, I can live with that layout. It's kind of neat. Hey, Maholik. Thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How was your stream today? Oh, wait. I did that twice. Uh, Terragus. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Happy days. Nice. Uh, okay, so... I can't believe it takes this much, but we've got our uh, observation frames. <clears throat> Most of the raid from Danzel. Thank you, Damsel. Uh, hey, JD, please. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. How am I doing? Uh, not too bad overall. I seem to have been lucky so far with the COVIDs. Uh, let's see. I, I, I have been doing some short streams just lately because I still haven't uh, still not 100% with uh, what my voice can manage. Should be back to six hour streams pretty soon, I hope. Uh, but now how am I going to lay out these things? We need ten of them for the purpose of supplying all of this stuff. And uh, four of each to supply these two machines that supplies all of this stuff. So... It's, um... Well, I should just think of it as 16 of each of these and then two of these, right? Some from Dune. Thank you, Dune. So that is 16, I believe. Whoops. Whoopsie. There we go. Um, and then two of these. I'll keep that for the moment just to make sure. Uh, that should be the ratio. Yeah, that looks about right. And if... Okay, let's just check this one. Double check. 238 versus 224. All of this. Uh, I should move this out of the way, maybe. That doesn't look right. That doesn't look right at all. What happened? Uh... Okay. And then? Oh, I'm looking at the wrong resources. Okay. This is actually too many UV frames. How did that happen? And infrared. 
and visible. Uh, what? How many machines is this? 44 versus 50. I definitely miscounted something. Level the telescopes? Yeah, there's so many. Speed modules? Yeah, we are using speed modules. No issues there. Uh, how did... So it was 10 plus... Four of each of these. 14, not 16. How did I get 16? So that should be it, right? 44 versus 44. Okay. Those are the numbers I'm familiar with. And as for this stuff... We're massively overproducing the observation data and such. How did this happen? Did I mess up this ratio or something? Okay, so we're aiming for this, this, this. That's actually correct. So somehow I ended up building way more uh, way more telescopes than are going to be necessary for this. Oh, wait, no. Hang on. We're making 6.15 and so on and so on. If we include all of this, yeah, no, that is, that is actually correct. That is actually correct. Okay. We do need all of this somehow. Okay. So back to the question of how this is going to be physically laid out. Um, just to confirm... This is going to be less than two blue belt, well, two space belts. Uh, this is going to be less than two space belts. And this is going to be less than two space belts. Uh, we also need to get blank data cards into these things. And we need all three of these types to come into these. Except, I should have kept these separate. Um, four... Four of each type to support these two. That looks right. Okay. So which one's this? UV? I think UV's down the bottom here. UV. And which one? Infrared is in the middle. Yes, good. Check ratio for fluids. Um, the fluids aren't too bad. This entire thing only gets to 1.6k. Which is not that much more than a single pipe can accommodate. So that's not going to be a problem. Uh, the question now is how to lay these out. How much input does this need? Very little. Unfortunately, it does produce junk data and scrap. That's going to be a nuisance. 
junk data cards we're already dealing with over here, but somehow I th think we might end up with more of those than we bargained for. Oh, that's broken data card. This thing deals with junk data card. I think we're going to have to reshape our uh, uh, rocket science pack build. Like, a little bit more than I already anticipated. Okay, but as for the inputs... Uh, 5 per second... Oh, we also need to get blank data cards here. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. I think blank data cards will go in the middle there. Oops. And we can use, uh, some stackies for the rest. Since we've got an odd number here, well, it's still going to be an odd number. Instead of a pattern of two, we'll just have that repeat. So we'll do the blank data cards on this belt. I should really do some resource inputs to make sure that all of these ratios work the way I think they do. How is this going to fit together? Probably something like... Uh, let's maybe move that back a tile. So that we can do this. And blank data cards are going to have to come from somewhere. How rapidly do we consume blanks? Not that fast. Okay. I think we're going to do the same thing here. Uh, we'll change the recipe. Do, do these all have the same scrap and junk data card outputs? Yes, but with different... Uh, rate calculator does take into account the random chances, right? Yeah. Okay. So just to double check, this is all infrared. And this is infrared. So it's going to be something like that. And then, last but not least, now how do we deal with the outputs? We've got plenty of space between these things, so it shouldn't be too hard. Uh, visible observation... Okay, each output from these things individually is going to be pretty slow. RNG, RNG, RNG. Yes, indeed. Telescope build looks so dense. Yeah, it's, uh... I don't know if you could get denser than this. Um... I was definitely pleasantly surprised to see that we could get away with using medium poles for this. Uh, just barely as well. Oh, that's what I wanted to check. How many blanks is this going to use? 20.15. We can almost 
um, feed this thing off of its own blanks. Uh, let's get rid of... Okay, before I get rid of those, let me double check. UV... UV... Okay. And, uh, let's not have the fog of war mess up the calculation. So we only need to put about seven blank data cards into the system per second to keep it going. Okay. And it's kind of hard to believe we only need two of these machines, but it's true. So we're going to need all three of these to come to these machines. Oh, and this is the only one that needs piping. Let's just double check it's the same negative 125 degree temperatures. Yep, that'll be fine. Okay. I don't suppose there's any way to do some kind of symmetry here. Let's figure out what the... Uh, what the outputs are going to look like. There's three possible physical outputs for all of these machines. I think what we'll do is a filter inserter for the desired output, which is visible. Visible observation data. And we'll do the same thing, but blacklist to output the other two. I forgot we don't need filter, uh, stack filter inserters for this. The individual items are going to be quite slow. So instead of a blacklist, let's um, junk data card and scrap. Junk data card and scrap. It's just going to make it a little bit easier to look at in terms of knowing what's going on. Uh, we could do like so. And Filter long arms, filter long arms, my kingdom for filter long arms. I guess we could do it like this. It's not going to produce more than like a bell trait. Not even close. Alright. So we'll copy this over. That's not quite right. Uh, maybe these two. Something is not right. The odd number doesn't help. I guess that would go there. That uh, should be okay, as long as we l leave enough space to merge all of the scrap to go back. And there we go. Uh, 
Uh, I think I checked, but we definitely don't need more than one belt for the blank data cards. Nope. Does this all line up? Pretty much. And... Like so. Except we don't need an underground over here. Okay. So... Then we just need to change the filters on these to infrared. And like so. And this one becomes UV. Alright, now we just need to merge all this stuff and send it back. Um, sure, that'll be fine. I'll just double check, but I'm pretty sure all of these are going to be considerably less than one belt for the combined junk data and scrap. Yes, indeed. Hello, Hacks. Glad to see you again. Hope you, hope you two doing well. Just recently finished part 73. Now you prepare for space part of base expansion. Uh, yeah, so what I'm in the middle of designing is a main bus-based uh, orbital base that is going to produce rocket science packs, uh, astronomic science pack tier 1, bio tier 1, uh, material tier 1, and I don't know about deep space tier 1, I don't think we're going to be there yet, but, oh, and Probably energy tier one as well. Uh, that's going to get us as far as all of the research done for the tier one space science packs. Um, after that, in order to expand, we're going to be doing rail blocks in space, uh, which is going to be a lot easier, honestly. Uh, so. That's gonna go there, and then, should I line that up the same? I feel like that's gonna look better. What about this one? I think it was like this. Uh, I think I confused myself. Nope, that's fine. Okay. And last but not least. Uh, so at some point we're going to have to get the... Should we do another one of these machines nearby? Oh, it's gonna make um, it's gonna make blank data cards as well. Hmm. It's mostly gonna turn them into blank data cards. 
I, I think I would rather, since we've already, we're already going to have dealing with the broken data cards somewhere, I think I would rather do this somewhere central. Throughput's going to be quite low. Okay. Next is getting these three types of data card. Um, to go past these two. This is way more than enough for one of these, right? Yeah. So if we just have this output go past here, that's going to be one of the belts. Nice and easy. And then split this off, I guess. We need to... Hmm. Watching Hax's Circuit Witchery is definitely great pleasure to watch. Thank you. Love your designs. I reckon you could do better masterclass for Factorio than Nilaus. Well, I'm flattered. Um... It is hard figuring out where to start, but I, th I think to start with, I'll just start churning out some basic tutorials. Um, so I want to get... This is going to be more than enough for that one, right? Yeah, it's 0.867. I think four of these more than handles that. Okay. So, so this is going to continue out here somewhere. How many of these do we actually make? 6.15 per second total. So there's really no need for them to be on two different belts. Therefore, I'll bring this down here. And that's going to be on that side. We need to split it for that one. We'll do the equivalent on the opposite side. And then we need to get these to cross over as well. Which is a little bit of a nuisance. I don't think there's a particularly elegant way to do it. So I'll just move these over a bit. Uh, this can go here. And this one can go here. So that should give us one, two, three. Yeah, that should be it, right? Let's go five for that. And I guess the next part is figuring out how this next bit's going to fit together. But I think before I do that, I would like to uh, actually get what we've built so far working to ensure that we haven't missed something important with the ratios. Cool. And full. Okay. So that's all the physical stuff. And 
and some fluids. Light oil. Are we gonna have a problem? Oh, power. Oh, I didn't think about where these belts needed to go earlier. Okay, so the top four are for visible, and we need less than two belts for that. Uh, each of these is not actually a full belt. 68. We need three... Hmm. We need, like, two and a half of these to support those two. Oh, hang on. Input belt here requires only 19 per second. So there's a surplus that can go from here down below. This input belt requires 39 per second, which is more than one of these machines can supply just by a little bit. But I'm pretty sure these two machines are going to be producing a surplus compared to that. So we should actually split this down here. This is going to be such a mess. But if I don't do it this way, we're going to need a huge... Um, Uh, a huge merge and split system. How much does this require? 70 per second. Just slightly more than these two machines can handle. That's a little bit sad. But why don't we just... Oh, there's no input for this one. Let's put this right about here. And then... Wish I could get 60 UPS. Ouch. I think T-Hex is overbuilding by a lot, getting one science per minute. And upholding 60 UPS is where it's at. I mean, if we overproduce the science, uh, it'll all stop, right? Victoria needs someone to cover combinators from basic to the super complicated. Sounds good. Yeah, that's something I've been wanting to do for a while. I've just had other commitments sort of, if not in the way, then taking my energy. Um, but I should have more time ahead of me. I mean, I do have more t uh, If not for getting sick lately, I would already have gotten started on it. Won't be able to click fast enough to add research into a queue. Look, all of this is to support... Drumroll. One of these machines without speed modules. Producing... A single astronomic science pack every three seconds. Um, it's not my fault. Okay. Uh, where are we going? That's right, I was trying to figure out how to get these frames into place. Uh, okay, how many... The two of these almost support all of that. They do. What about 
Okay, this one is only 17.6. 35.6. Why, why did it have to be ever so slightly more than, like, one machine to one of these rows? Let's just do it like this. It's a little bit spaghetti, but it'll work. And cheats have turned off again. Um, let's merge these two over here, I guess. I don't even know at this point. Maybe I should just spaghetti the belts all in and then put some consumers to delete everything we produce from here and see if these uh, uh, telescopes ever stop. One, two, three, going into one, two, three. That doesn't sound quite right. Considering we already know that we can't support these at like a one-to-one -one ratio. Let's see. And that goes... merge those two. This one should probably go into some other places. I don't know. This is truly horrific, but the alternative is a, a gigantic merger. Alright. We need the fluids as well. First we need the coolant, let's keep it at 50%, and we need to delete the hot stuff. I didn't think there would be any trouble making sure we had room for these things to connect, but I should have thought about it before. Maybe it would be easier to connect them over this side? Okay, well obviously here, because we've removed some of these uh, buildings at the end. But that's not going to be the case for all of them. That about right. What is this? How did these get mixed? What? Oh, what the? That's an output. That's an output. When did I do this? Whoops. Isn't there one more input down below? Your frames are on the other end. Yeah, rip. Okay. Let's uh, fix that, shall we? And undo. Okay. Input, input. Input, 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 input. That's not an input. Input, input. Okay. And put some of these down. Uh, we go. Thank you very much for the Prime sub. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Much appreciated. Thank you. 
Dang, that rebuilt fast. Yes, yes it did. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Um, the main point of this little exercise... Okay, first I need to make sure I can make these pipes all connect uh, without imposing on this other stuff we've built. Might be a little bit of a problem. Maybe we could do coolant on this side. Oh no, we'll do the... Um, well, it, it's all coolant, but we'll do the stuff that's been warmed up on this side because the belts won't be in the way. Is that line up? No. That's better. Okay. And this goes here. Um, let's figure out one, two, three, four, five. Goes there, not this time. And then we just keep copy pasting this one. Let's get rid of that. And hopefully we won't have to bump all of this stuff over to the left. So this is going to go here. Bring it down like so. Oh, the construction planner. And then... I guess there isn't necessarily a neat way to do this part. But there's plenty of room. Well, that's not too bad. Maybe we'll use some long pipe here. Maybe a niner. Oh, that's... That's fine, actually. Uh, we are going to need a... S oh, that's wrong. Whoops. I think I'll go ahead and get rid of those bits of pipe so I don't get confused. And then we need one of these. Uh, I wonder how consistent we can get with this build here. Is that a five? Yes. That's better. And then... Like so. Why is there no cold thermal coming down this way? Oh, right. Uh, I guess we'll just do that like so. And that seems pretty good. Space pipes? Space pipes. Why have you stopped? Because you're full on the output. I thought I set this up to delete the output. At least 0%. Okay, exactly 0%. All right, so uh, 
It looks like it's working fine. That's going to need another underground. As is that one. Oh, that's... I almost tried to make a mistake there. That's correct. That's correct. That's correct. That's correct. That's correct. And these two are correct. Well, it looks like it's having no trouble reaching the end of the belt. Not even close, actually. Oh. Uh, lane balances aren't going to be necessary for this one. I think. Probably. Why is this one not moving at all? No cold thermo fluid? Oh, there's none here. That one's going to be a little bit trickier, and I've probably made the same mistake over not here, because there's more space. Okay. How do we do? Oops. If I do it like this... No. I don't see a way to make this part work. Move it all one tile, it's always one tile, yeah. If we connect this directly here, do an underground like that, there's not going to be any room. Uh, I guess I could... I don't particularly want to have to do that. Connect it up on the other end. Oh, this one has no cold dummy fluid. I, probably because I'm messing with it. Okay. How do we get you some cold thermo fluid? While also having this belt go where it needs to go. Hmm. I might have to do it on the other side. Surely not. If we move this underground belt up a bit, that doesn't help actually. Because we can't put this splitter here. Maybe. No, that doesn't help. Hmm. If we put this here, have this go here, then there's room for an underground here, but that doesn't have room over that way. We could do it like this. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. This part was going to be inconsistent, like not perfectly consistent with the rest of this anyway. And that'll be that. Except for the minor detail where this one doesn't have a way in now. Hmm. 
Does this reach across? Nope. Does this reach across? Yes. And there's a little bit more symmetry to that one. Cool. And we don't have to change this bit. Nice. Rather than more splitter and belts, move the liquid one tile to the right. Like this, or... Well, it's working now anyway. Like that. Yes, indeed. Okay. Uh, so now the real test is... That is... That belt is more full than I thought it would be. No, I forgot that... I was thinking of the wrong resource here. Um... So, while this produces at full speed for a little while, and it is producing at full speed... It is not producing at full speed. Uh, the whole thing requires a little bit more than what one pipe can handle, I think. So, if we put another infinity pipe over here... And that one is a void pipe, just deleting everything, so that's fine. Actually, maybe not, because... If it all has to bottleneck through here, it might be a problem. Theoretically, up to 1.64k 25 degree thermofluid at a time. Alright, that should be more than enough to delete it. Now, with that in mind... Uh, it looks like we're not having any trouble getting... Uh-oh. Spoke too soon. Blank observation frames. I'm not reaching the end of this belt. Okay. Do I just need to rethink how I do the merging and splitting here, or... Well, this is obviously... Not as helpful. I'm thinking the way to do this with the space that we've got, not that we couldn't easily extend it, but like I said, I don't, this is going to overproduce, so it's enough to saturate everything, so I don't particularly want to have to build a giant merger splitter for this part, but. I think what I want to do is have it all sort of prioritize the outside and move in. Maybe. These two cannot support these four, I believe. Yeah. So this can merge to here. And then, let's start doing the same thing from the other side. Uh, I can stop confusing myself with that. Rotate, rotate, flip. There we go. So it might look a little something like that, except that 
the first machine is way up here. And then the excess goes to this one. These two can't support these ones, can they? Uh, they can actually, but they can't support the four of those. 79 per second, 68. Okay. So that's going to go down there. And then... Seven of these, I believe. So the third one merges down like that. And to the middle, I guess. This is the middle one. Wait. I'm confused. Okay. Third one down to here. Shouldn't the middle go to each side? This is the third one, it's going this way and this way. Third one is going this way and this way. That might be okay. There's probably going to be a bit of a... There's going to be a bit of a bias to one side, but if it gets these frames to the very end of all of the belts while this thing's going at full speed, it's good enough. It looks like it is. Won't it eventually have problems because the lack of belts side balancing? Um, we've got a little bit more stack inserters taking stuff out of this than we need, and it puts it to both sides of the belt, and the different splitters take things to uh, be consumed on both sides of the belt, so I don't think so. Probably. Yeah, I mean, as long as we're seeing the ends of the belts completely saturated, it's probably fine. Considering we are overproducing a little bit. By about 14, actually, per second. Nice. Alright, what's next? Um, I would kind of like to see these things in motion. I could always just... Add some blank data cards to make that happen. At least for now. Oh, we also need power here. Looks like there's going to be plenty of room for substations. Uh, so that's nice. Although I am a little sad about having to have them close together like that. Kind of nice that... Ah, uh, I was going to say it's very nice that it sort of fits in snugly where these belts are anyway. But there's literally one uh, inserter that it's not reaching. I think we'll move the inserter. Why not? Let's move them all first. Away goes the last bit of belt. Okay. Big pole somewhere. That 
could be neater, but I'm not overly concerned about it. Alright, that is all of these machines in motion, it looks like. Uh, remains to be seen if they are going to be in motion continuously. That's a pretty good fit. Alright. And this definitely doesn't need to be here. I don't suppose... If we moved these three tiles closer... Would that make sense? It'd be a... Might be a minor pain moving these belts, but... Other than that, I don't see a reason not to. But... That can wait. Uh, also, let's get rid of the broken stuff. Alright, so it looks like this much is working properly. We do need some fluid over here. Um, could maybe bring it over this way. I'm very sad that that doesn't quite reach. So in that case, how about... Nope. Okay. There's not going to be a nice place to put the... Uh... Oops. Put the pipes at this rate. Why is this not moving? Oh. This belt is backward. This is why testing is good. Remove the purple loaders to see if it backs up. Uh, hold on a sec. To see if which thing backs up. Okay, let's do it like that, and then like so, a couple of long ones, I guess we won't bring those closer together. And we could probably move this back a little bit, at least one tile. That goes there, I think. Um, I was going to say, and then we have to connect it to here. That's actually going to be surprisingly easy. Or almost surprisingly easy. If the output from the telescope blocks up. Oh yeah, we can get rid of these now. We've tested that part. Okay. Uh, what's next? Look at all those telescopes go. 
kind of hypnotic. Why is that one not moving? That is one reason not to remove those loaders. Um, where are you? A oh, motionless one. This one? It's got no blank observation frames, but... Okay. I checked these before. They were getting to the end of the belt, so what's happening now? In fact, half of this belt is... backed up. I don't understand. Um... Okay, yeah, this... This is shaping up to look like a bit of a lane balancing issue. I don't really want to have to put a bunch of lane balances in for this. Are any of these machines stopping because... It looks like they're going full speed. Oh, you, you just stopped. Okay. Wait, why did it stop? Output is sometimes getting blocked. This one... I think we just need to... take some of this down here, maybe? Except not like that. Except, does that even make sense considering... Is that the middle? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, it's not the middle. Uh, at this rate, I'm going to have to make some space and make a giant... freaking eight-lane... merger... splitter... I don't particularly want to do that since we're overproducing, it shouldn't be necessary. Okay, that looks all good now. I think that did it. Yeah, it looks like it's okay now. to be working now. Yes, indeed. Some s telescopes were indeed not moving. But I think we're all good now. We could also compare the rate calculator to the productivity window. It'd be nice if we could keep them both open at the same time. Although that one's a bit fluctuaty, unless we give it a few minutes. Okay, why is that not powered? There we go. And this doesn't need to deal with any... Okay, this needs to go somewhere. Oh, and I did this part wrong, I think. I was thinking that would be the output fluid. That's not correct. So now we need to get this one all the way back to here somehow. Can we just do it like this? I think that's forgivable. Except we're not going to be able to use a long one here. And... Actually, how am I going to connect that one? That, that's a problem. I could move this... Uh... 
Yeah, we could make a little... Like, oh, if I do that, I can't fit underground. What did I just undo? Oh, no. Um... I undid something. It's probably this. Okay, yeah, we're good. How do I get the purple fluid to where it needs to go? I guess this'll do. It's a little bit spaghetti, but I can live with it. Okay. What's next? I think we've finished like half of it. Next we actually need to connect it all up to all of this stuff. Somehow. I think the layout's going to be a little bit different to what we've got going on here. So we need uh, 24 of these things. Uh, 24. And they only output astronomic catalog, but they need two belts of input. And how quickly do they consume? Very, very slowly. So long arms are fine. How close together can we do these? Uh, well, that part was correct. Restore cancelled pipe segment? Uh, oh, this one, yeah. There we go. And we need these four things to merge together. What's, what's the total output for all of this stuff? Six, 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 and five. Um, and a little bit more which is significantly less than one belt. So we can definitely just merge them all onto a couple of belts. Um, is that supposed to be only on one side of it? Okay, yeah, that makes sense. It's fine. We could do it like this, maybe. Maybe not quite like that, but you get the idea. Actually, I think that's fine. Let's do an underground like this. And that's going to be those two. And then I don't think these have to be spirited away somewhere else because we could just merge them here-ish. I can come out like that. So we need them to go past... Oh, hello. That might work. Okay. None of this, except for the substation. And I guess that can line up now. And I'll just do it like this. So 
that is all four of our cards. Next thing is to input them into all of this stuff. Check we don't need the cards anywhere else. Nope, literally just these two. I think I do like keeping them together like this. Um, so that's gonna be like so, and then the output is only astronomical data, that'll be in the middle. Uh, how much is this going to do in total? Way less than a belt. Way, way, way less than a belt. Good. Poor pipe is disconnected again. Which one? Oh, this one. Three. Okay. Uh, so we need these to connect. And then I think that's basically it. Snap to grid relative. Inventory is too full. Don't know what some of this random stuff is doing. Um, where was that setting? Interface? Always keep players main inventories. Okay. And we're going to want... Well, actually, why don't we use some underground? Oh. Right. Well, we could still... Do it like that. Nah, it's fine. All of this is going to consume not that much fluid. 43.2 per second. So, just one connection here should be more than enough. And get rid of those bits. As for... Well, I'm not going to worry too much about the pipes until we're getting close to the end for that. Uh, we're going to need to split this. Hmm. That's fine. And this one. Which means we can bring this a tile closer, I think. Okay, considering this is already here, I'm very... Oh. Uh... I really don't like the five-tile limit with the underground pipes for space. Even so, it would be easier to... Okay, that's just rude. Uh, we could have this go down this way instead. Might be better. No, wouldn't that be exactly the same? This thing's not centered, so... That might help a little bit. It 
doesn't really help. I guess we could just make room for a pipe like this and then still not be able to get this out properly. How about like this? Okay, that's so far so good. Um, still doesn't get any easier to... Why is this not flowing? Huh? Oh, well, that one is not connected up there anymore. And then this one would have to... I don't like it. I think I'm going to undo all of that. How many undo levels do I need here? Oops. That's fine. Isn't that the wrong fluid? Yeah, um, I thought it was going to be super convenient how these line up. So I was going to flip this over. Like so. And I still might do that because, look, we've got the coolant over here. And the coolant after it's been heated up over here. Uh, but if I do that, I might have to change the way these belts are laid out. What if we do this except the other way? Whoop, not like that. Wait, where is this going? Oh, that's fine. Yeah. So that goes there, this goes here. We have room for an underground pipe here. And then this goes up here. And then we can maybe do like this. Oh, that one doesn't line up the same. I need to change that. Still, it's more symmetrical this way. Um... How is this coolant going to get in? Maybe it would be better to connect it over here. Oh, these are working. That's nice. Obviously we messed up that belt a little bit, so... Let's tidy it up a little bit. I'm confused. Fear not. Near traps, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, and Zavoxifor. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Underground to the south and underground plants. How much do you care about spoiler stuff? There's a problem with this build for later. Uh, this build won't have to last too long because this whole build that we're going to do, a main bus base in space, is going to be for the tier 1 science. Um, and after that we're going to have space rail, so we're going to move on to a rail block system, I think. Uh, so that's going to be a whole new base. Uh, 
Mass420. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, so... Is this working? It doesn't have cold thermofluid. So no. I think the cleanest way to do this one is just going to be like so. And if that's the case, we should probably do the same thing on the other side. Actually, how many tiles is this? Exactly nine. So let's get rid of that. I think I liked this look a little bit better. And then... Wait. Underground. And underground. Nice. So that's this side working as well. Doing well, thanks. Good to see you streaming again. Thank you. Glad to be back. Okay, so that is all of those complete. Uh, we need... How many of these? 20. So then we need 20 of these. Can we do... Um, that's going to also spit out blank data cards. That's going to be a problem. But other than that, it's one in, one out. I think we can just lay these out like so. Oh, I need the speed modules. Two, three, four, five, and... 10 and 20. And what I'm hoping to be able to do here. Okay, so it's got one input. Two outputs. So if we were to do the filter inserter outputs, we need them together like that. Otherwise we can put it all on one belt and then filter it after it's on the belt. It's only 7.2 items per second for each. We need to make sure the blank data cards get sent away and back into the system and prioritized. To be consumed. I just don't know whether it's going to be better to do a layout whereby uh, we do it like this. Or I suppose if we're doing that... We're ratioing these so that we do pile up on astronomic insights ever so slightly. Is that going to be a problem at all? Considering, oh, it's not even a random, there's no RNG involved, it's just a one-to-one -one ratio. No, I think as long as the blank data cards are taken away. This whole thing only produces 
four items per second. I don't think we need to bother with filtering them just yet. We can filter them at the end of this. Does this consume... it does. Astronomic insight. And let's not forget these things. That also requires astronomic insight. Hmm. There's three of them. Feed the blank data cards back into the previous production stage? Yes, I will be doing that. It's going to have to belt all the way back probably up here, but that's fine. The whole thing net consumes uh, blank data cards, so all I have to do is like have a merger that will prioritize consuming the ones that are from this system. Um, so I think we can probably... Oops. Probably get away with having that like so, and not bother with filter inserters. Let's copy all of this. And then... So we need the astronomic insights to stay here. If I do it like this, the blank... I think I want to create a bit more space here, and we'll trim it down to something a bit more space efficient when we can. Oops. So I want blank data cards going away here. Um, and I want to take blank data cards from this and merge it into that one. Just barely reaches. Calculated. Okay. I can probably move that a little bit closer, no worries. Uh, this doesn't need catalogs, but this one does. Don't forget the pipes for this stuff. And this doesn't produce scrap or anything. Okay. Oh, where are we going to output the significant data? That's actually a pretty good question. It's going to make way more blank data cards than anything else.
I think we can get rid of this now. I'll, I'll move it just to be sure. And this whole thing, just to confirm, it is going to net consume blank data cards quite easily, even though one recipe of this produces 32 of them. Uh, it does take 30 seconds if it was a crafting speed of 1. Where am I going to output the significant data? I really don't know. Let's do it like this. And then like that. That should be fine. Uh, that's not right. There we go. So it takes a lot less sciencing if we feed this thing beryllium plates as well. But I'm not going to worry about that for now. It actually produces twice as much astronomic science packs for half of the data inputs as well. And the outputs are the same. So, definitely something to think about upgrading into at some point. Um, I'm sure we can bring this more than a little bit closer together. And as for you... Seems pretty good. I could probably move it one tile closer if I do it like this. Oh. That doesn't even need to turn a corner. There we go. I think that's it. Probably. Where is this going? Oh, you need astronomic insights. And so do you. And you. Splitter goes here. Um... I think if we just do it like that, I should be able to have a belt like so. And this one goes up here. And I think we're getting close. Um, I don't particularly want to put medium power poles down here. Substations on the outside, perhaps? That's just barely not going to connect to this one. That's uh, slightly upsetting, but it always... Do it like this. Oh, that's... that's a little tragic. Okay. All the gaps like so. And once more, I think. Uh, not really. 
actually didn't put any thought yet into where to put the power for this one. Uh, seems like we can just do that down the middle, though. Without much fuss. Why is this one messed up? Yeah, we can just do substation. Is it going to touch all of those? Yeah, easily. So this goes here, and here, and so on. And why can't we do it over here as well? I'm not sure why I thought I couldn't. Alright. That's going to be a little bit neater. That one reaches at least. Fantastic. Alright, now we just need to give it some undergrounds. Oops. And run out. Oh, we technically didn't run out. I mean, we did, but it didn't matter. Okay, so I think this entire thing works now, except that we haven't made room for the data thingies to come back this way. Blank data cards. And... What we want to do here, I think all that's going to be required is, oh, wait, priority input right side Yeah, that should do it So now these aren't going to get clogged up. Why is there no fluid? Because there's no fluid. Alright. One, two, three, four. I guess we'll do underground. It's fine. So we're just missing... Astronomic Insight. Does it matter if we only bring it in from half of this belt? Well, one of these two belts, rather. I think it does. Uh, hmm. There isn't room to have this go left to right, and then down through here, and then become this belt. Um, there isn't room to merge it like this. I'm tempted to move everything one tile over to the right. Uh, to the left, rather. If we didn't need a substation here, we could do it like that. Oh, hello. They're actually all... It's because of this, isn't it? Yeah. I guess we could... Uh, I don't like this. But... I guess we could do it like that. So now it's all one belt, we don't need... How are you going to get your insights? Oh, you can just take them from here. 
Wait, no, those are not insights. Um... Are you, are you missing some undergrounds around some substations? Possibly. Do you plan to upgrade those speed modules later on? Nope. Uh, we'll be building a different base when we scale up beyond this. Okay, so it is working. All that's left is to figure out how I want to make this um, figure out how I want to make this last bit of belt work. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That is... I was going to say blue science, which is technically correct. Um, this is going to come from the main bus. We're going to have... We're going to have to make a bus for data cards. Input priority from over here. We net consume them, so that output doesn't become a problem. We're going to have to take the junk data cards all the way back. There's somewhere else that makes junk data cards here. These things. All the way back to one of these belts. Which is going to have to go all the way back to this eventually. But that is almost that, that is almost all of the work done to to do one of the sciences, one of the more complicated ones. Uh, obviously rocket science is a little bit easier. Let's build it. Uh, not today, I'm afraid. It is a little bit past time to finish. Uh, but also we need to... F we've done... We've sort of done rocket science pack. We're definitely going to move things around a bit. Same goes for uh, atomic science pack, although there's not going to there's not going to be much change. That looks kind of cool on the map, actually. Uh, there's not going to be much change to this design. Um, the, the main thing that needs to change with the, la the base laid out as it is, is we need to main bus the blank data cards and have like a proper lane for taking the trash items back to get dealt with. Uh, so that just leaves... Biological, energy, and material science packs. Thanks for the stream. No worries. Oh, cool. I was a little worried about overscaling. Yeah, no. Um, we don't have uh, rail in space. When we do, these builds are going to look very different. Let's see who is streaming Factorio for today. Mucky. I don't think I've raided Mucky since I got back, right? Considering I got back yesterday. And I'm not seeing any other familiar names, right? I think... Uh, yeah, let, let's drop in a Mucky anyway. Bodge the Bodge? I was considering it. All right, let's give Bodge the Bodge a go. Maybe drop in a monkey tomorrow. Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Uh, check out the Discord of the Blueprints if you're interested. If you have any questions or requests or anything, by all means, let me know. And I'll see you next time. Take care, guys. What call? Call? There's no call.